Listen guys, is Korea too hard on fat people or is America way too soft? Let's play this controversial viral clip from 90 Day Fiance that's making us rounds on different social media platforms and it's got people talking. So what do South Korean people think of Americans? Uh, greasy food and being fat. Oh my. You are lazy, so you always get the uh, fast food for lunch. No wonder you are piggy. Are you serious? Look at this. I'm just saying the truth. You always have fast food for lunch. Boom! First off, guys, I gotta give kudos to the producers of this TLC program because whether this was the truth, exaggerated, or a lie, you stew those elements together and that's what makes good entertainment. Because listen, the producer could have told Nick Ham to say this behind the camera, but it was still believable enough due to what people generally know about culture. So anyway, guys, we're gonna get into the discussion. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out Small Lost Sauce, smalllostsauce.com. And uh, yeah, it's clear that in Asia, East Asia in general, they want lower body fat, they want lower BMIs than America specifically, right? Um, and it's just like part of the culture, but you know, normally you wouldn't necessarily say it in front of uh, people's parents that were also overweight, but it would be more acceptable. And I think that that's why it was kind of believable and it led into all these discussions about, of course, about American obesity adaptation to culture and assimilation. Should Nick have said that if that's not the norm in Arkansas? You can't say things like that. You're supposed to say nice things. And just, is there any accountability in 2024? And you know, social norms, they vary so much here and there. Obviously in Asia, I'll tell you this, when it comes to looks in general, like people kind of have like a toddler-like style of honesty. Somebody with a big nose, they got a big nose. If somebody's fat, they're fat. If somebody's got this trait or that trait, it's almost more like a rap battle or the way things are a little bit, I don't know how to describe it, like more in the hood in the US. Like, you know, that's Ned with the funny nose, funny nose Ned. You know, these are just like, some people think it's improper to speak that way, but just overseas and in more ancient cultures, especially South Korea. Listen guys, all of East Asia is gonna be like that, but South Korea of all the East Asian countries is the most look centric, the most weight centric. But I'll say this, them being weight centric or like having a lot of lookism is what also leads them to create all these great entertainment projects and, and, and like imagery. And that's probably why this white girl likes Nick to begin with. So I just don't understand. It's like, you love BTS, you love 2PM, you maybe you let's go back all the way to HOT days. All these guys are slim, you know, uh, in sync backstreet boys, maybe even thinner type guys, right? And then all of a sudden, it makes you love Korean guys or Asian guys, whatever. Let's just say you only love Korean guys. And then you bring a Korean guy to Arkansas to like a fish fry, like a backyard fish fry. And then you get mad at him for him speaking honestly about how him and his tribe would view your specific subset of tribe, which is like, like I said, uh, I don't want to call them Arkansas hillbillies because they seem a little bit more liberal because that's why she's getting with the Asian guy in the first place, a little bit more open-minded. But it's like, I just don't understand people like being Korea boos and then the second they get judged by Korean standards because they ask, let's be honest, the mom does ask, like we said, whether it's scripted reality or not. And then they get an answer they don't like and then here was where we're at, man. Where is the accountability? Anyway, guys, let's. those are my quick thoughts. Let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, even in Korea, this would be considered rude. Don't think that we're all like this, guys. Um, I thought this was a really interesting set of comments. There was a lot of Koreans from South Korea commenting on the American YouTube videos being like, hey guys, guys, yeah, it is true. Like we do kind of think like some people like they look like that are fat, but we would not say that. That's like disrespectful. And I think it's really interesting because China with like, or Chinese guys in the 1970s with Bruce Lee and then Japan being such an economic powerhouse in the 80s and 90s, they were like having more interaction with American culture, but South Korea is the first East Asian or first Asian culture in general to really breach like every tier of American society where you've got like guys from Seoul like Nick hanging out with like Arkansas fish fry types. That to me is an insane juxtaposition. 
shout out to the Korea, but it just goes to show you because they're permeated pop culture. Pop culture sort of is like uh, the whole spectrum. It's not just like Japan or like maybe uh, when Bruce Lee was popping, it was like girls who were into spirituality and gurus and wanted to learn Kung Fu and Jeet Kune Do and things like that. That was like very uh, trending in LA in the 70s. Maybe Japan, it was like for the upper crust, people doing international business. I know Edward Norton used to speak Japanese because he used to do a lot of international business, but they never were like permeating every tier of pop culture down to the hillbillies, the salt of the earth, middle America people. I think that that is very fascinating. Um, the next set of comments was from white people. Basically, I'm assuming, I don't know if they're overweight, not overweight, I don't want to comment, but they're on the internet, saying people need to adapt to our customs and norms, man. How, come on, man, you, you just doing it, and, and uh, yeah, sure, it might be your standards in your country, but it's not okay by our standards. And uh, I think that that's a fair comment. I think this the, the, the larger macro argument is assimilation. Do you like Nick? Because he's Korean, and he has these hyper Korean different thoughts from his ancient culture, or do you want him, the idea of him, you want the upsides, but you want to mitigate the downsides and have his downsides assimilate to you. And I think that that's just like a really good macro discussion for people to have in general as there's more globalization and people are just more mixing in general is where it's like, do you like somebody for their totality and all their pros and cons and their flaws? Or are you just trying to mix and match and build this perfect person because you love this aspect of it and the egg yo, but you don't like this aspect of the brutal body honesty or body shaming or whatever. It's an interesting point. Um, some people were saying that in Korea, you can say like piggy girls and it's not necessarily the worst thing. It doesn't mean the same thing when you translate it into English. I could agree with that. There are certain things, they just cultural context from the usage and the experiences. Somebody said she isn't even fat. That's what's even more messed up by his comments. However, that went into a discussion about obesity, BMI. There are different standards in different countries. East Asia in general, maybe particularly Korea, probably the strictest in the world about being fat. So by their standards, she was fat. She might not have been obese, but she was clearly fat. And uh, that's just what it is, man. Somebody just said, travel more. The rest of the world is actually honest. If you're a fat ass, you should just go to other countries. That's how it is from ancient societies. This guy was from Eastern Europe. Yeah, I would agree. I would. Uh, I don't know, but I would imagine in Eastern Europe, any place that's just like, just has different cultural norms, it's just more okay. I know for in Asia, it's really okay to say, oh, like, are you okay? You look tired. But in America, if you say to somebody, you look tired, it's like, you look bad. You shouldn't have come to work today. I hate you, you know what I mean? So it's like, dude, just things mean different things in different time zones. Um, for example, other people are saying that he wasn't too good looking himself. I agree with that. But uh, he obviously was the thinnest out of everybody. Um, somebody said, you shouldn't have that attitude if you're gonna come to the South. Everybody in the South has a really high BMI compared to people on the coast, and America is fatter than Asia in general. And then somebody also said, the woman stuffing her face full of food while looking offended at someone speaking the truth is hilarious. Of course, we gotta get into the Asian section of comments. Um, some Asian people were like, oh, okay, a British person or a French person saying it in a little bit wittier of a way is glorified, but when an Asian person speaks their mind openly, it's considered rude. Um, somebody said, you know, I'll say this, it's true that a British or a French person may have said it in uh, a wittier way though. I would agree they would allude to everybody being fat. I'm trying to think of how they would say it off the top of my head. They might be like, oh, well, it's certainly clear that everybody here enjoys quite a few fish fries or something like that. And I guess the weird thing is in the West and when it comes to language, it's like they would be saying the same things, but the language and the accent and their syntax would soften it. And, and that's just something with the language. Somebody said, was he supposed to lie? Even Americans think this way about other Americans. Don't ask if you don't want to know. Don't ask the question if you're not ready for the answer. And then of course, some people were going so far as to say normalize fat shaming like we do in Asia, in America, and I'm not gonna lie guys, there was a uh, very large Asian girl, and I'll block out a photo right now, I'm not trying to dox her, um, saying basically, oh, all you Asian assholes defending fat shaming and rude behavior in the comments, you are not every fat person do or doctor, mind your own damn business, and then you expect people to stand up for you. I'm a fat Asian and I hate this. All right, guys, 
So listen, here's a couple points here. Culture is different. Now, Nick should have been culture, more culturally sensitive to the environment that he was in, but what he's saying is true. And it's just literally a cultural difference where people have to understand and accept each other's cultures and they're almost like learn to enjoy it. I just think people can't always feel like, well, you know, you're in the South, it's so dominant. This guy clearly is a fob from South Korea. Of course, he's gonna say something that just seems like it doesn't fully align. He's just not gonna be seamless with the environment. He's from such a completely different place, like a trillion reps that he's seen throughout his life are different from the trillion reps that make up like a life of somebody from like rural Arkansas. Um, obviously, it's been exaggerated for TV effect. Um, I do think it's different even in America. Like for example, like I said, if you are, are from, have done, participated in rap battles or, or you participated in, in urban culture, I feel like people tend to be a lot more direct. Um, but, but, but you expect people to be combative right back too if you say the truth as well. And uh, I think my last point that I would wanna bring up about this is just accountability. I think that people have to be accountable. Like for example, Nick, the Korean guy, he didn't really bring up everybody's BMI or uh, body fat percentage or weight at the fish fry. They asked him, he gave them an honest answer, but then it just seemed off color and then it turns into this whole uh, internet debate. Obviously, like I said, man, again, kudos to the TLC producers. They created a viral moment that's clearly being taken you know, more serious than by some people than others on social media, but at the end of the day, it sparks some good discussion. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think Korea takes body shaming, lookism, fat shaming too harsh? Do you think Americans are too soft on it? What do you guys think? I mean, to me, I think this is just really, really interesting. It also brings up some macro discussions like, is America monocultural? And as it shifts away from being monocultural, how are we all gonna like, adapt to like 10 different shades of culture. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Very, very interesting clip. Like I said, it's, it was like a year ago, but it keeps going viral. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out, peace.